Halo Reach Flight 2 progress report updated. We just got confirmation from 343 that Ring 2 has passed, but what does that mean for us Ring 3 Halo Insider users and how soon will we get a chance to play Flight 2 for Halo Reach on the MCC? Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update when it comes to Halo Reach coming to MCC for the flighting program. If you guys like these news information videos, please make sure to tap that like button. Let us know if you want to see some more content like this. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on this whole process as well. And if you're new to the channel and want to stay updated with anything Halo related, that's MCC, Halo Infinite, Halo 5, everything in between, make sure to tap subscribe. It keeps you updated with everything going on in the channel and in Halo. So let's get right into the content here. Now as I'm sure you all are aware that it's been taking quite quite some time to get flight two out to the halo insiders we've had just like a small group about like 900 ish or so people only got a chance to play flight one for the tip of the spear campaign and that was back in june was it towards the end of june yeah the end of june and so it's been quite some time we've had a chance to play the next flight program because uh after this flight they need to do a pvp one and then I guess after that one probably be released. So we got some time, we got some work to put in before the next one comes out. And so recently, Postums went up on 343, put up a forum little thing right there for us to read about. Let us know the bugs that were cleared up, the current status on it, and how soon can we get this to the Halo Insider. With also a little bit of a sneak peek to what kind of content we're gonna be playing on for the next flight after this one for Flight 3, which is gonna be a PVP multiplayer. Now, if you guys missed my previous video about the fighting prog program going on right now, that they mentioned about these different kind of rings. These rings are the different tiers of testing that 343 goes through to let us know like what the progress and what are the bugs, blocking bugs of this flighting program. So ring zero would be the internal team at 343, like the, the pros that test out the games are on site uh, and just people playing the game, the testers that they have in there. Ring one is just a very close knit of external testers, probably more like on campus of Microsoft cast game testers that they have on site there. And they have flight two, or ring two I should say, is an expanded group of uh, close knit uh, testers as well, probably maybe some third party groups that do a little like off campus or maybe like they send the files off, they test it out there and they send the information back. So an extended group there. And then flight three are the Halo insiders, which is us, the awesome Halo gamers. So like I said, at the top of this video, recently the newest build of Firefight from flight two has just passed ring two. So what does that mean? That doesn't mean it's going to go straight to ring three. I'm sorry, it's just not going to because what they need to do now is go through all the rings again to reconfirm that everything that was fixed has been fixed. Like I said, this is the open and honest communication that we've asked for for 343 and they're providing us right now, and especially with such a sensitive topic of the MCC and new content that it needs to be gone over with a fine tooth comb. This is that fine tooth comb. Basically, ring two has been completed with its current bugs being resolved. That means that's gonna go all the way back down to ring zero, then go to ring one, then the ring two, and if they find nothing in the way that we, we, we they consider a blocking bug, it will go to ring three. And I, from the what I read in this post, it sounds rather optimistic that this build right here will be able to make its way through all the different testing and you know be able for us to be able to put chance to play this game. Now you might be wondering, well, what kind of bugs were there? Well, Postums actually mentions it in the post here. Users were able to match make after editing various files, which is not good. That basically means that cheating can be involved with that. So they need to make sure that can't happen. Uh, soft lock when alt tab while in full screen. Basically your game is completely frozen when you're alt tabbing. Definitely need to have alt tab available for PC users. Uh, crash when loading into a match. Obviously if you want to test build this in the public, they need to be able to play the game. <laughs> Certain scenarios cause the roster to disappear and not be accessible. Obviously you want to know who's in your playing in your game and how well they're doing, things like that. And then also uh, inviting a friend to play would cause the invitee to crash when accepting it. So now these bugs have been verified that they have been cleaned out there. So now they're going back to ring one here, go through that rate testing once again. And Postum's right saying, saying this could be the build that makes it out to ring three 
soon bearing no issues obviously if there are no issues i need to state that if there are no issues so it's definitely sounding like flight two is going to happen this month and just looking at the calendar right now my guess would be that it will not happen during the weekend the final weekend of august which is pax around here in seattle uh various 343 members will be at pax and uh there will be you know be a very busy weekend for the team there uh that's not involved with development of the games so i would not assume that they would do a launch then so maybe even next week on the 23rd or something like that we might even get a chance to play some fire flight in halo reach again that's just my speculation as in, there's no confirmation at all on this post i'm just saying that's just my thought process on this whole thing and then that, that's if it goes swimmingly and there's no issues like i brought up now looking forward to flight three which 343 is also working on that one as well it's not one thing at a time it's all multiple things all at once and so what now they're going to be looking forward to after this one is obviously flight three which is going to be the halo reach pvp networking test basically be playing some matchmaking games for you guys is obviously going to be the bread and butter of halo reach here and they say that this is going to be an xbox one only flight no pc on this one which i find rather surprising they want to test it at the same time but maybe it's just to give those xbox players who have been dying to get a chance to play these flights a chance to play and get some exclusivity like the pc players have been able to the last well first flight and soon to be second flight and so they're gonna be broken up into two different sections there's gonna be social game modes there's gonna be competitive game modes under the competitive game modes there's gonna be 2v2 matchmaking the map's gonna be countdown powerhouse zealot the game type is going to be slayer you have 4v4 matchmaking which the maps are going to be countdown powerhouse zealot and tempest where the game modes are going to be slayer flag bomb zone control asset denial which is going to be probably like all you know and also action sack as well just for the for the lols i guess and there's also going to be 8v8 big team battle which is going to feature tempest breakpoint and ridgeline with game modes such as slayer flag bomb zone control and asset denial and then you're going to have your competitive modes which is going to be your ranked modes which, which you guys remember invasion is going to be involved with the ranking system when it does launch uh, you're going to have the hard, team hardcore which is going to feature the maps countdown and zealot and it's going to feature the game mode slayer and capture the flag and then you're also going to have the game mode of invasion which when it does launch it's going to be a ranked mode which it's going to have just the map breakpoint and obviously the default game mode of invasion and keep in mind that invasion is going to have the vanilla settings of halo reach not the title update versions like all these other game modes are going to have so it's going to play a little different for you guys there but i uh, just also keep that in mind so yeah guys some big progress being made for halo reach coming to the mcc here I, it's coming it's coming closer guys i can feel it coming in our consoles tonight okay yeah that was just super cringe so yeah i'm certainly looking forward to this let me know what you guys think about this as well if you have anything you want to say make sure you read type in the comments guys i read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well if you like this news information video or you learned something from it please make sure to tap that like button let's me know you want to see some more content like this and if you're new to the channel make sure to tap subscribe keep you updated with everything going on in halo if you're new to the channel or miss any content from me in the last few weeks check out the videos on the screen right now I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.